this next gentleman, he works all over town, Mr. S Mr. Peter Ostella, everybody, Peter Ostella. All right, how we doing? Nice, you guys good? I'm doing good, I guess. Found out I'm getting fatter. Anybody else getting fatter? Yeah. Here's what happened with me. I found out that I was fat about a month ago, then I didn't do anything about it, and now I'm fatter. That's how that works. My pants aren't really fitting anymore. And, and I'm, a, you know, I'm a 38, 32 as it is. So I'm afraid to buy new pants. I don't really know what the next size is. I think it's like 36, 32, 38, 32, and then it just goes short fat guy. I think that's, I think that's the size. It's just it's written right on the tag. Um, I've been trying to lose some weight lately, so I've been doing yoga. Anybody do yoga? Nice. A lot of my guy friends are like, oh, yoga's so gay. You should come to the gym with me and my buddy. Like, I should go to the gym with you and your buddy because yoga's gay. Let me ask you something. What's gayer to you? You at the gym, standing over your buddy on the bench press with your nuts four inches from his forehead, yelling, get it up, push it, and harder. Or me, sitting in yoga class with 20 fit women as they explore how flexible their glistening bodies are. I don't, I don't think I'm going to the gym. I'll, I'm gonna go to gay yoga. Thanks. So I'm married, and uh, the other day my wife got annoyed because I pronounced croissant without a French accent. She said everybody pronounces it with a French accent. It's a French word. It's like, really? Everybody? You think Joe the truck driver stops off at a roadside diner, is like, how you doing there, doll face? Give me two coffees, two donuts, and a croissant. <laughs> and hurry up, make it snappy. I got Bill, Frank, and Alejandro waiting for me in the truck. <laughs> can't, can't pronounce stuff like that. There's a girl at work who has a beautiful name that I can never pronounce. It's spelled A-D-I-T-I. -I. And when she says it, it's like music. Her voice smells like, hello, this is Aditi. Like, there's no way I'm pronouncing that. I try, though, every time I call her. Mentally prepare, dialing, mentally going over my head. Aditi, Aditi. It's ringing, I'm rehearsing. It's ringing, I'm rehearsing. Beep! Hello, Aditi. Damn it! <laughs> Blew it again. So I have kids, twins, it's two babies. People don't realize uh, how much work twins are. That you don't really recover from that very quickly. That'll scar you a little bit. People are like, you gonna have any more? I'm like, you crazy? I'm wearing a condom right now. <laughs> There's two of them, and they're girls. You know how scary it is for a guy to have two girls? It starts immediately. The first doctor's appointment, a doctor walks in and goes, so I have great news. Your daughters have great head control and have mastered sucking and swallowing. <laughs> great. Excellent. It's great news. That's not great news. I thought he was going to say, as it turns out, they were born without vaginas. That would be great news. <laughs> they're not babies anymore, though. They're six years old. Uh, I know they're not babies because when people ask about them, they don't ask how much they weigh. That's a telltale sign. And that's also the only time in someone's life where that question is socially acceptable. Try that shit on a date one time. <laughs> Like, so, I, thank God, you know, we're going out. I'm so happy you said yes. So, uh, what do you weigh? <laughs> oh, Doesn't exactly work. The reason it works with babies only is because when they're babies, they don't really do anything. So, like, as a parent, you don't have anything to brag about. So the only thing you really can be happy about is that, you know, they're getting bigger. So you say stupid stuff like, oh, yeah, they're six months old now, but they're fitting into clothes for a one-year-old. And they have chubby cheeks now. It's like, imagine if that kept going into adulthood. Like, people look, see my mom on the street like, hey, how's Pete doing? Pete's doing great. He's 5'8", 220, and he's a 38-inch waist. When he looks up, there's this fat roll that he has on the back of his neck, and his love handles are really filling in. Oh, it doesn't really work. But you know, you can't brag about anything, so when they finally do something, you have to turn it into immediately something good. So like, my daughter argues with us about everything. Clothes she wears, food she eats, relentless. So the other night, my wife's like, she's a good arguer. I think she's gonna be a lawyer. It's like, isn't that a best case scenario? 
I mean, what if she's just a pain in the ass? You know, she's just somebody's annoying coworker. I heard other parents doing it too. My son loves colors. I think he's gonna be an artist. Or he could be the guy that sells fruit on the side of the road. Tons of colors in that cart. He'd love it. You know, I love being married, I love my kids, but you know, sometimes you forget what it's like to be single. It's a lot of work. And the other day, my buddy, he got dumped by his longtime girlfriend. And we thought they were gonna have kids and get married, so my wife was really bummed out. She was like, oh my God, that's so sad. I mean, imagine your life without me and the kids. What's he gonna do? I'm like, I don't know, honey. I mean, I can't imagine what he's gonna, oh wait, I know. He's gonna do whatever he wants, whenever he wants, however he wants. Let me give you an example. Next time he goes out to dinner, he's gonna put on his favorite pair of jeans and a t-shirt. Even if it's not clothes that a grown man would wear. Then he's gonna drive to the restaurant. He's not gonna take the long way just because it has the street with all the pretty houses on it. When he gets to the restaurant, he's gonna sit at a table. Any table. It doesn't matter if it's by the door or if it's under the air vent. It's just the surface where the food is being placed. It doesn't matter. He's not gonna have to share a meal he didn't want to eat in the first place. And the second his food comes, no one's gonna ask him to take them to the potty. He's not, gonna have to, uh, he's not gonna have to cut anybody's food or clean up a spilled water, so he's gonna eat slowly. Not like the Japanese guy who eats hot dogs. And then he's gonna go home, put on his short fat guy pajamas, get into bed and masturbate for hours. I think he's gonna be fine. That's my time, guys. Thank you. Peter Ostella, everybody. Very funny, right?